Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Today we're going to be doing the heads up mid range radio comparison between the Futaba 4PM over here on the left and the Sanwa MTS over here on the right. These are radios in the sort of two to three hundred dollar price range when you're ready to upgrade from a more entry level radio like uh, MX6 or uh, DX5C or something like that and you want to do, get a little more serious about your radio game. This is generally the class you're going to want to upgrade to. Now I do have a lot of reviews on radios on my channel. That's kind of a specialty that I do. I, I really enjoy doing radio reviews for some reason. I do have a full in-depth uh, video on each of these. So if you want to check out more about the 4PM, you can go check that out. If you want to check out more about the Samuel MTS, I have a really in-depth video on that as well. Kind of an older video because this radio has been out for about three or four years at this point. So, um, but yeah. If you're interested in buying either of these radios, I do have some affiliate links down below that does actually help me out if you click on those. Even if you don't buy them through that links, uh, just clicking on does actually support this channel. So we're going to be reviewing these two radios in a bunch of different categories, talking about uh, which is kind of the better radio in each of those categories, and then at the end picking an overall winner. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the features. And so uh, with the mid-range radio, you're going to get a lot more features than kind of your entry-level class. You're going to get obviously a really nice display, dot matrix display, uh, more adjustments with the trigger and uh, steering wheel. You're going to get things like uh, telemetry. Both of these support uh, RPM, temperature sensor, voltage sensors. You're going to get really fast responsiveness. Futaba uh, radio supports all the way up to I think it's the uh, TFHSS SR mode and the Samuel MTS supports all the way up to FHSS4. You're gonna get uh, backlit displays, four channels. So yeah, overall uh, a really nice set of features. You're also gonna get all your basic controls, endpoint adjustment, trim, uh, steering expo, speed, uh, pretty much everything you want to do uh, in terms of control and the, they're geared a little more towards racing and uh, some nitro features as well with like idle and speed and things like that in the features category futaba actually does win it supports uh, a little bit more than the mts you get 40 model memory as opposed to the 30 of the mts you get more uh, variety of four wheel steering and mixing gyro control dual motors uh, tanks tank uh, mode as well so if you have like a track vehicle you can control that a little bit more so a uh, wider range of mixing you have servo and ESC control so you have a compatible Futaba ESC or servo that supports the S bus or MC link type stuff then you can actually control uh, or program those servos and ECs directly from this radio you also get ABS which the MTS does not have so yeah overall in the features category the Futaba does actually win it's got more uh, features overall, and uh, yeah, that's the one I think is better. Moving on into design and construction, I'm basically just talking about the overall uh, radio itself, the quality of plastics, kind of the layout, shapes, dimensions, all that kind of stuff. Here's the MTS, kind of the standard and classic Sanwa look, uh, similar to the MT4S and the MT4 as well as the MT44 is somewhat similar as well. A little bit more on the boxy side, um, slightly dated at this point. You know, you got this kind of giant handle sticking out the side. Futaba, I believe, is a little bit uh, nicer in the design category, a little bit sleeker, a little more spaceshipy, I guess. Uh, so that may or may not be something you like. But overall, I think the design is quite a bit nicer. Plastics are super smooth, high quality plastics as well. Futaba is a well regarded brand in the radio transmitter space and I believe this radio is slightly better in that area. The knobs and buttons and stuff just feel a little bit better. You kind of get those blue LEDs here on the top. Uh, just a higher quality, just more expensive looking radio overall. So I'm going to pick the Futaba 4PM in the design construction category. The MTS just a little bit clunky. You got these big buttons you got to press and stuff like that. Um, not bad. Kind of a heavy duty switch here on the back where it's Futaba's got kind of this nice soft uh, push button power button. So overall, yeah, I do like the Futaba 4PM a little bit better. Moving on to the display and menu. Samwa MTS, uh, you know, solid looking dot matrix type display. You just kind of got these big buttons to kind of go down into the menu system. Um, not quite as high resolution type display. It is backlit though. 
um, and fairly easy to navigate and go through. Everything's kind of logically laid out. Futaba, on the other hand, uh, has just a higher quality type uh, radio display. Uh, as you kind of go through the different menus, you know, a lot of different options. Um, these buttons and stuff are a little bit uh, nicer. It does have kind of this jog wheel type uh, control. A little bit annoying. Um, and in addition, you have these plus minus buttons as well as the endpoint. But overall, the nicer display. Uh, just higher quality controls and buttons on to, to navigate through the menu I think is a little bit better um, I think the menu system is also slightly more logically laid out um, so that was not bad uh, it's a lot better than the MT4 on which this is based but overall I do think the Futaba display and menu is better Moving on to performance, what we're talking about is the responsiveness, the feel of the radio when you're actually racing on the track, uh, which one allows you to control the vehicle better. I think for a long time, Samwa has always been kind of considered the uh, better performing radios in general. I think most people without a contract, sponsorship, that sort of thing are actually buying Samwa's on their own. Futabas are a little bit less popular among the privateers. There are a lot of other videos out there from Brian Harris or Short Course World that talk about why they prefer Sanwa over Futaba. And in general, I, I've kind of felt the same way. I've always felt that Sanwa is a little bit more uh, direct. Um, the Futabas, it's not so much that they're slow. It's not like you turn the wheel and then like the car doesn't respond or something. So that, that's what people think of when they think of like lower performance is that, you know, you do something with the radio and the car doesn't, you know, takes, there's like a delay or something. And both of these are kind of in like that three, four millisecond type uh, range so you're not going to actually notice the difference between three and four milliseconds in my opinion but with the sand laws what I found personally is that I think the radio is a little bit more consistent uh, a little bit less vague um, the Futabas from the information I've seen the signals are just slightly less consistent meaning you know when you turn the wheel there might be uh, generally let's say a two millisecond type frame rate but then occasionally you get a five or six millisecond time rate and how that translate into feel on the actual track is that you'll notice that it just seems slightly more vague um, that's the best way I can kind of describe it you're not exactly sure what the car is doing um, you don't feel like you have that super, super direct feel uh, with the radio and the wheels and the throttle and that kind of thing. Now, I will say the Futaba 4PM, I mean, I think it's super, super close. Like, this is a really high performance radio. We're talking the difference between like 100% like A plus grade and like a 98%, you know, A, you know, plus, slight plus, or whatever you want to call it. It's really, really high performance. I don't think most people are actually going to notice or, you know, it will affect their times or their you know, performance on the track. But if I have to nitpick and pick one over the other, I am gonna go with the Samwell MTS. I think it is slightly, slightly better. Controls are another area that you get a little bit more with the mid-range radio over a cheaper radio. So both of these have your standard adjustments. So wheel tension, you can actually affect the spring rate. Uh, if you'd like a firmer wheel or a lighter wheel, uh, you can adjust that with a little screw here on the bottom. Same thing with the trigger. If you want a firmer trigger pull or a lighter uh, trigger pull, you can adjust that as well. Both of these also have kind of an adjustable trigger. You can slide it forward or back a little bit. Um, but the Futaba actually has one more adjustment, which is you can adjust what they call the uh, ATL, I think it's the adjustable trigger length or something like that. So you can actually adjust how far you want the brake to actually go before it gets full engagement. So uh, yeah, in the actual controls point, I do think the Futaba is slightly better, a little bit more adjustable. It also has kind of your normal like linear uh, steering wheel, whereas Sanwa's always kind of have these exponential type feeling where uh, as you turn the wheel for further and further, the spring actually gets stiffer and stiffer feeling. So some people like it, some people don't, but it is something to note as well. And I would recommend you try both of these radios uh, before buying if you can. Receivers can be kind of a big deal if you're controlling more than one RC car. If you only got one RC car and you're just racing your regular two-wheel drive buggy or something, it's not that big a deal because both these radios do come with receivers. But as you start adding more and more vehicles and buying more and more receivers, it does tend to add up and get kind of expensive. So obviously, if you already have Sanwa receivers, uh, you're probably going to be more likely to buy one brand. If you've got Futaba receivers, you're more likely to buy uh, the Futaba brand. 
But uh, one thing I will say is that Futaba receivers do tend to be a little less expensive for a really high end like TFHSS SR type receiver that is compatible with your 4P. I'm going to give you the fastest performance. I'm going to have a wireless receiver. It's you know about $65. Where Samuel makes super nice receivers as well. They're, they're wireless, have the FHSS uh, four or five protocol, but they're going to cost closer to like $100. So quite a bit of a price difference. The other thing I would note is that the cheaper Samuel radio, the MX6, is not compatible with this. The MX6 is a completely different uh, protocol. So it's really the MTS is only going to be able to control the newer radios, FHSS 3 and above, uh, which comes on their higher end vehicles. The 4PM, on the other hand, if you already have a 3PV uh, radio and receiver, you are going to be able to control that uh, Futaba receiver and be totally compatible and maybe uh, save some money as well. So in the receiver category, I definitely think Futaba makes better receivers. They're not quite as small on the super high end ones, but they're still wireless and quite a bit cheaper and very responsive as well. Okay, in the battery compartment, they're very similar. Both of these just take a standard uh, alkaline double A batteries. Uh, the 4PM takes three double A's and it's got a little Futaba plug, of course, where you can plug in a life battery. I don't think a light will work. I'll have to double check on that. Also, you cannot run uh, nickel metal hydride batteries on your uh, 4PM. You do have to run alkalines if you're using double A's. MTS, on the other hand, uses four uh, double A's or a single life like I'm doing here also has a little plug where you can put in your own type of battery uh, and you're allowed to use uh, nickel metal hydride batteries that will actually run if you want to run double uh, a battery so in the battery category i do think the mts is a little bit better because you can run nickel metal hydrides and uh you know it takes four double a's which is kind of a standard thing and still has the same plug as the futaba so overall mts i think is the winner in the battery category Okay, the last category is value. And the Futaba at the time of this video sells for $230 with a receiver. Samuel MTS sells for $250 um, also with the receiver. And I'm not sure why, but this used to be a $200 radio. And at that point was actually a really good value. A sub $200, it's like $199.99 for a while, but for some reason it's actually shot up to be $250. So Futaba, I think, is definitely the better uh, value. It is a more expensive feeling type radio, has more features. It is cheaper as well, so I really can't see how the MTS wins in the value category. Definitely the Futaba 4 p.m. Okay, so which is the better radio? We got the Futaba 4PM, we got the Samwa MTS, which was actually my pick for the best mid-range radio in 2019. But what do I think is the best radio today? In this heads-up comparison review, I am gonna go with Futaba 4PM. It's just an amazing radio. It's probably the first Futaba I felt that really went next level. Um, I've owned several of the other Futabas, 3PL, the 3PV, but never really felt like the Futabas were quite as good. And most people that race and are buying radios on their own dime or actually buying Samwas, but the Futaba 4PM objectively is a better radio than the MTS. It's just got more features, a better display, just a nicer and even cheaper radio overall. So no real reason to buy the MTS. Now, if you do have a bunch of Samwa receivers, yeah, I can understand why you might want to buy the Samwa radio. And if you have a bunch of Futaba receivers, probably does make sense to stick with Futaba. But overall, my pick for best uh, mid-range radio here in 2020 is the Futaba 4 p.m. So anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely like, share, subscribe, hit the notifications button. Look for more videos soon. And thanks for watching.